I'll be having a documentary effect on this one on how we build this. It's called the budget bungalow. Uh, I cannot name it otherwise because I'll be doing it on a budget so our my OFW brothers will have an idea of how much it's really cost if you really budget your your build. So this is now the stage that I'm at. We have destroyed the side of the house of the old couple that I'm going to build a bungalow with because like I said, their house is going to be on the way of the road I'm going to build going towards my land on the back. So for this week, we just knocked down the shed that they have on the side that serves as, this, as their kitchen. So this is now what it looks like now. So the one that knock it all down is only the loy. It just takes him three days to get take it all to the stage that it is now. And right as of the moment, we'll be we are now piling all the materials because we will be laying out officially the design of the bungalow that I'm gonna build for him on Sunday. So then next day, the Monday, that will be the start of the working on the house itself. So. Here we have the coco lumber that is 2 by 2 by 8 foot long. That will be like the basis for the laying out of the plan that we have for the bungalow that we intend to build. And we have here the ordinary sand. This is the sand that you they are selling 50 pesos to 60 pesos a bag that I have con bus yesterday but this one i'm getting this from the main source the one that get it get it from the river i paid 450 for multi-cab pickup you know the pickup multi-cab filled it up with sand and that's 450 and one pickup can bag about four, over 40 bags 40 41 bags of sand so it's more cheaper if you buy it direct from the source in which i do so you can see, I have the cocoa wood, which I also canvas yesterday. The other shop is costing 72 pesos uh, per piece, 72 pesos per piece. So 72 per piece, then I get it from the other shop at 70 per piece. So this, I got 40 pieces of the 2x2x8 two by two by cocoa wood to be used when we set up the laying out of the plants on Sunday. So I got 40 there, that's 2,800. And here we have the gravel. So I have the multi cup working now, just picking up materials because it's only down the road, then paying a fortune on delivery. This is the gravel, just ordinary river gravel not the crushers of course and again it's only 450 per multi cab we have here the size 40 hollow blocks the blocks size 4 is priced at 8 pesos per piece so you might not think that uh, you may some things that a hollow block is the force of the house. A hollow block for me is only a receptacle. They're not really load bearing. Load bearing are the beams. So they are just receptacle for the rebars and the cement that you're going to put in there. For me, it's just like a form or a jig for the walls. It's not load bearing. It's not the part of the weight that's going to carry it because like this one here look at how they build that one so you just put a mixture of the prime a mixture of the cement into this with the rebar sticking out and that's and then render it with prime a mix which i mean is one two three one cement two sand and one gravel that's the what prime a mix but this one this is just the cheap blocks, although we do get it at 
retail i mean cost price here because we just get our hollow blocks direct from the makers which is our abundant there down there in pulang batu where we live so this is the gravel for the flooring and i'll soon be having cement coming to be delivered here and these are all the rubbles from the destroyed kitchen of the old couple that used to be here so you can see you can I still let them live there in the house and you can I let you remind you of the marker where it's gonna end that red marker that you can see on the wall That's where the end of the and the end of the land remaining and the start of my road over there, the, the boundary. So from that, I'm planning to build here on the side of their house. Instead of moving them, they might as well move when the new house will be finished. So we will be clearing this all off and build them a new house. We will be starting the layout like i said on sunday because what i do is when i had a building going on i will i like all the materials ready because labor is not cheap if you're hiring workers to do your job not doing it by yourself so i wanted that when they work materials are there so i want input For myself by giving them the materials and they give me their labor so I'm gonna be checking the progress every day and like I said I'll be giving you the prices of the things that they have done so I'm starting with this 40 pieces of coco lumber the size is 2 inch by 2 inch by 8 foot length 2, two, two by 2 by 8 at 70 pesos per length of this cocoa, cocoa wood that I'm gonna use for markers and then the sun is 450 per multi cab that will be like one multi cab let's just say it's 40 40 bags and the hollow blocks so far I purchased it at 8 pesos per piece and then all the gravel and sand I'm gonna price it and how much is used per column or be used every day with the cement then I will give you the real rough idea not rough idea the close if not the whole pricing of per piece of the house even per room per column everything I'll be mo I'll be having a documentary effect on this one on how we build this and that house that they have left now when the new house will be finished it's all be knocked down then i'll still start building the road towards the back because that was our agreement that i will not be starting to build unless they have a place to move out when they move out they have a place to move in sorry but so they will have a new house which they never had in their life until now because they've just been living on this house since they've been married over almost 50 years ago i think over 50 years because their eldest is 50 over 50 years old yeah so they have been living on this house for so long because they own most of the land i mean they inherited it from their parents so now they started to sell off bit by bit so this is the update so far on my building of the column for the old couple that owns the land building of the bungalow i mean because i was looking at the column 
so that will be the update so you can see I've ordered about 600 600 pieces of this 4 inch hollow block at 8 pesos each so we will just be filing it here tomorrow I'll be buying the cement and Sunday we'll be laying cement and rebars so Sunday we will be laying out then Monday the start of the proper work so this is what I call the budget bungalow because I cannot um, it's called the budget bungalow uh, I cannot name it otherwise because I'll be doing it on a budget so our my OFW brothers will have an idea of how much it's really cost if you really budget your your build so that house that's remaining will soon be gone and will be replaced by a new bungalow on the side of it and then this is where I'm gonna build the road you can see there's a string on there on the side now that's the other side of the road straight on so I'll be cutting most of these trees that's on the way anyway they're not just big trees the big tree here on the side will be retained that acacia but most of these tiny trees they're not really that big will be cut off because they're on the way of my road building so you can see there's a string that I put in to the straight line there and I'll just be clearing out all of this at least it's not those big trees that I'll be sorry cutting them down to give way to the road and so that's the update of my budget bungalow building